Hello, Reed Johnson here. We're going to make a smart watch today, uh, like the one you see here on your screen in Autodesk Fusion 360. A couple of uh, tips to get started using Fusion 360. I'm going to launch Fusion, come right into it here. You can see on the left I've got my data panel. This is where all my projects are kept on the cloud. On the right side I've got my 3D environment where I can do modeling and many other tasks. Up on the top right, I see my name, and I can go to my preferences. And to get started, if you've used a CAD system before, you may want to change how it navigates in Fusion 360 to make it easier for yourself. So here in the settings, I just simply scroll down. I found Pan, Zoom, Orbit Shortcuts. It is set to Fusion. That's what I like. But if you're used to another program, you might drop this down here. You can switch it to Alias. Inventor SolidWorks. What this does is it allows your orbiting functions that you're used to in those other programs will work the same way here in Fusion 360. You can also reverse the zoom direction. That is one I do if you like the zoom direction to work opposite uh, the way the default is set up. Now once I've got started I'll notice that I am set as an untitled document so I want to save this first as a new file name so I can go ahead and go up to file save and this is interesting I'm saving to the cloud not my local computer so it's gonna look a little bit different than if I'm gonna to save to my own PC so the first thing I can do is give this a name so I can call it smartwatch and I can put it into a project or I can add a new project here plus project and I can say Smartwatch Designs, or whatever I want that folder to be called. Make sure I've got my name how I'd like it to be. You'll notice that this will now switch over to say Save In Smartwatch, Smartwatch Designs. Now I can come over here and I can hit Save. And I'll notice that my name up here in this tab switches over to Smartwatch Sample. It's version one now, the first version of the file. As I save in the cloud, it's always saving a new version, which is cool because I can go back in time to a previous version if I need to. Now the next thing I want to do is set up my units. The default is millimeters. If I hover over units, millimeters, I notice this little change active units button. I'm going to click on that guy and that opens up a window called change active units and I can switch the unit type over to inches is the unit type I'm going to use to model the smartwatch and say OK. Now with that I'm ready to go. I'm going to simply do a save so you can see what this does. If I click the save button up at the top. What it does is it adds a new version to the file I've already saved. So I can say OK. And if I wait a moment you'll notice this will uh, update and I'll now be on the next version. Version 2. There it goes. Updated to the cloud. It says version 2, and I can, I can move on from here.